Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about infant essentials. Now, I did do a video before talking about newborn essentials, which I'll have linked down below for you guys as well as in the cards. And more so that video was infant essentials that no one tells you about. The little things that really help make your life easier besides, you know, the basics of infant essentials like your stroller, your um, bassinet, all that stuff. So if you guys want to check that video out, like I said, it'll be linked down below. But today we're going, we are going to talk about the three to six month infant essentials that no one really mentions or told us about that definitely made our life easier I feel like so if you guys are interested in hearing about the little essentials then please keep watching so these aren't in any particular order I'm gonna start with the ones that are first on my list that I can't actually bring into frame right now just because how I'm sitting but I will have the pictures pop up and everything so the first essential which we have been using since she was about three months old that we love is the Owlet sock. We got ours from Target and I really like it because it gives such a peace of mind, especially as a new parent, first time parent. We were constantly checking to make sure that she was breathing and she was okay, you know, just those just that nervousness of taking care of a human for the first time. So the outlet sock, it tells you your uh, baby's vital. So we got to see her oxygen levels, monitor her heart rate all the time. The sock was on and then you download the app and you um, can see everything. I have it on my iPad, my phone, and we just constantly check it throughout the day. The biggest peace of mind that it gave us was when she was two and a half months old. So I guess we were using it at two and a half months actually because she started to roll over and she loved to sleep on her tummy. So from the time she was a newborn and had a little bit of strength, she would sleep on her side. She was the most comfortable on her side. After like five and a half weeks, she wanted to sleep on her side, but you know, you're supposed to keep your baby on their back. So she would always um, end up on her side. And then once she was able to roll over at two and a half months, she would sleep on her stomach. And it would always make me nervous because I just feel like she wasn't getting enough oxygen. And I know, you know, babies naturally turn their heads so they can breathe and all that stuff, but it made me nervous and she didn't know how to roll back over. I don't think she knew how to roll back over until she was like four and a half months maybe. So she would cry in the middle of the night when she wanted to go back on her stomach because she didn't know how, I mean back on her back because she didn't know how to roll back there. So that is also another thing that made me nervous. Like what if she's too tired and you know, she doesn't want to cry for some reason when she's on her bellies. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, always went to the extreme, but the outlet sock, it is pricey. It's a pretty penny, but I definitely think it's worth it and gives you such such a peace of mind the next essential that we started using at four months was this little four in one seat and it was perfect because she didn't have enough strength to sit up on her own to sit in the high chair so this helped her it had a lot of support for her back and we were able to feed her in it you know four months usually if you if you want to you can start solids with your baby so we use that and a little rocker chair we alternated between those but i feel like that seat helped her get her strength to sit up and want to sit up um, I know some people say that it doesn't help, it's not a lot of support, it doesn't really teach your baby how to sit up, but she caught on quick and she loved sitting in the seat and playing with the toys and it was also so convenient because now I could bring her around with me if I needed to put laundry away in the room, like fold it and put it away, wash dishes, bottles, cook, clean, anything, I could just bring her with me because sometimes she just wanted to be next to me, she didn't want me to leave her sight or she would cry, so that was very convenient because I could just bring her around with me and start to get stuff done around the house. The third essential is an arch or some toy that goes above your um, child or eye level with them to help strengthen their back muscles. We had this arch from a playmat that we got and she would usually just lay on the playmat and play with the toys, but then when she started showing interest in sitting up and um, needed that head strength we decided to set her in her dog -a tot and put the arch in front of her and play with the toys and the, over the course of a month it really helped to strengthen those back muscles she loved to sit in her dog -a tot and play with the arch toy and when you were trying to help strengthen those back muscles for your baby you need a toy that's eye level so we would hold toys in front of her or get her to reach for it and play but her sitting still really helped strengthen those back muscles faster I feel like and that was with the help of that little arch toy and I just love it so I will have that link down below for you guys. So this next essential, it's not really an essential or a necessity but I just wanted to throw it in. When I had mentioned the 4-in-1 seat I talked about a rocking chair. We used that rocking chair um, to also feed her when she was 4 months because again she didn't have that strength to sit up and hold herself up. And since she came out of the womb, she loved sitting up and lifting her head up. Like, I actually have a video when she was first born of her head, of her, like, lifting her head. She was so active. Are you holding your head up? And you have hiccups? 
So yeah, even when we were home, like especially around four weeks, it really peaked. She would just want to sit up. We would be holding her and she just wanted to be sit up. She didn't like to be flat on her back or laying down. She did have acid reflux. So maybe that also contributed to her wanting to sit up so much. But um, yeah, that rocker chair definitely helped because she was on a nice little incline. She was satisfied enough that I could put her in there when I needed to hop in the shower or again, if I wanted to clean or cook or anything, she could be right next to me playing with the toys and she would be content. So if your baby likes to sit up a lot and you know, they don't have the strength to sit in the four in one seat yet, definitely get the rocker. It's awesome, especially during that transition of uh, your baby being too heavy or too um or aging out of the little baby swing and can't go in the four in one seat yet i feel like that's the perfect in the middle um toy or gadget um or chair <laughs> the next essential um is books now i did not know how important books were i remember when i had my drive-by baby shower last year um steve's mom and the invitation she was asking um for people to bring a book instead of a card and a lot of people did both card and book but books are so important and malia loves when i read books to her especially now like in the infant stage they're staying awake longer they're becoming more interested in stuff like i love this stage it is so much fun and that curiosity really peaked around four and a half five months that when I started reading the book to her, she seemed more interested in grabbing the pages and playing. So these are just two books. These are her favorite books. This is, oh my gosh, the cover's in the room because it comes with a soft little sheet cover, but she always tries to rip it off and I don't want it to rip. But this is I've Loved You Since Forever. Yes, by Hoda Kitab. I have this book memorized because I read it to her every night after bath time just to help her unwind and get ready for the night and ready for a good night's sleep so she likes that and then on her play mat i have this book right here um jungly tale she got it for christmas from her mima and you know just list the animals so it's something that we can have for a while just to you know read to her go over i do show her when we're on the play mat like oh look this is the elephant this is the monkey and more so it's really good for those um sensory skills because the noise the touch it has the tails so I don't know where this is from, but I will try and find a book like this. And she likes to bite on it too, um, especially when she's having a, te a bad teasing day, she'll bite on this. So I love this book and I travel with it. I'll bring it with me. Next is this box of toys. Now there's not a lot of toys in it because the toys are honestly all over the place. We have some in the kitchen, in her high chair, um, in our room when she's in there and I like folding laundry in her playpen. So this is what I grabbed off the play mat. And this is from i play i learn i don't know if that's the brand i'll have to look it up and see but she got this for christmas as well and it's just a big bucket and it had a bunch of toys in it and you can see right here like this little shaker it looks like a dumbbell um this little butterfly it all makes noises and twists and turns she loves every single toy in this box and it's good for visual skills development because of the colors um eye catching the tactile skills development uh it has different textures and other sensory skills, fine motor for, to help with grip, shapes, and tasks um, will help develop fine motor skills and hand dexterity, which she loves to play with them and spin them around, and hearing development um, because it makes different sounds, their rattles. She loves it, so I'll show you as the one inside. And she's seven and a half months, and she she like accidentally blows this. She'll like breathe in and it'll start making noise. So she likes this one, and it shapes little music note one she loves and this little candy one not only for the colors but it makes that noise so she loves to play with it and bite it so I love this bin and sometimes she likes to hit on it too and it's just great for cleaning up the play mat I can put all the toys back in here and I do squeeze some other toys in here as well hey guys so I'm just popping back in because I was just quickly going over the footage before I go cook dinner and I realized that I forgot to mention the giveaway in the video so so for this giveaway it's just a thank you to my OG subscribers who have been sticking with me for the past like five years and to my new subscribers thank you guys so much for joining my channel so this giveaway is going to be for one lucky mama I will be gifting you this I play I learn a new one of course um set because I think it is just awesome it's for newborns and up and the toys are great they're travel friendly they really help with all those developmental skills they keep your um newborn well not mainly your newborn but your infant um occupied and I love it so you will win this box 
like I said, it'll be a new one. I will send it to you. So you just have to follow me on Instagram and you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel and let me know how old your baby is. And that's it. Three rules. I will be picking the winner April 3rd, next Saturday. And I will DM you on Instagram. So that's why you have to be following me on Instagram and obviously a subscriber and a supporter of mine. I will have all the rules listed again in the description box down below. Good luck. And then another toy that I have that helps with their um, fine motor skills are these socks. Um, this is Imagination, but I think these are from the same place. I'll have to look it up. She got this again for Christmas from her Mima. And these are so cute. I think she got like six of these, but um, I only have the three that I could find that were on the play mat. So there's this one. It goes around their feet because, you know, babies love to grab their feet. So when she start, started grabbing her feet for the first time, then I told her Mima, she ended up getting her these for Christmas. So it wraps around the foot or the ankle, but she got so chunky that I started putting it around her hand and she would just end up taking it off and biting on it. But she still likes to play on it and chew on it when I take her for walks. Um, this is the toy I will put in her stroller to give to her and she'll she'll play with and then also these as well I still can put these on her feet they fit really good and she'll play with them and now that she's spinning up she'll like bend over and play with them or she'll lay down it's hard to keep her on her back to relax because she's so active she's crawling and scooting and just doing everything standing up well you know pulling herself up so these don't keep her attention for long but she likes to you know shake them and it's really good for travel it's something small that she can have in the back seat and I also love that it came in this little bag and I just keep it because, um, like I said, I do travel with this so I can keep all her toys in a bag versus all over the diaper bag and make it a mess. So the next essential is something that I mentioned in my um, infant essential zero to three months, but this, I'm my new board, but this is the sleep suit I got off Amazon. I forget who it's by, Lakala, but this is for three to six months, 12 to 18 pounds. She stopped wearing this. I think around maybe four and a half months. It was hard to transition her out of the sleep suit, honestly, but we kept with the white noise. And um, we both, we are gonna get our sleep sack eventually. We're still debating, um, but I think it would be a good call because summer's coming up and we're gonna have the air conditioner on so she can't sleep with the blanket. So I don't want her to be cold, but she grew out of this pretty fast and I shrunk it too. I had a yellow and a pink one. Always have a backup of anything because they poop and it just gets everywhere and you have to let these air dry so I threw it in the dryer because I was so desperate and we needed it because I think she had ended up pooping in one or I forgot to hang one up or something like that so I had to throw it in the dryer and I wish I didn't because it shrunk but it wasn't that smooth of a transition it took about two weeks for her to start you know sleeping back through the night comfortably but I love that sleep suit it's awesome awesome transition out of the swaddle definitely recommend it i'm actually going to be selling this on poshmark so i will have the poshmark link down below as well as it linked from amazon all right guys so that is going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed these little infant essentials that no one tells you about that you do need um i feel like i've been talking forever but it's only been 16 minutes which is shorter than what i thought the video was gonna be let me know if you guys have any of these infant essentials or anything else i'll need for uh six to nine months oh my gosh Whew, I can't believe it. Malia's growing up so fast. Or let me know, you know, other toddler essentials because she'll be a toddler in August. I can't believe it. So let me know anything that I need in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.